do a straight line graph, the number of days with snow on the ground have decreased by eight days per winter, which is substantial when you're a plant or a bee or something else. If you compare the average number of days of snow on the ground from when I started to the year 2000 and 2000 to now, it's 11 days less snow. You know, you're looking at about 200 winter days, so we've lost 5% uh, of our snow cover days. This winter, the average low is 35. For a state like Colorado, it kills the ski area. If it doesn't get below freezing at night, they can't make snow. And in a winter like this, there is none. As when I first built this house, I ran the water from that spring into the house and back out into the river, and it ran full, full tilt all winter long and never drained out. So I know there's a good water source. A month ago, I had to start my water. I had no ground cover. And it was like, I'm going to lose my water. And let's say you, in 1970, made a grocery list every winter of what you ate what your family ate and you wrote it down. You went to the grocery store and you got it and you saved them for 45 years. You could see the trends of how food has changed. So all this was is I recorded this out of interest and because I did it for so long it has some benefit, some value. In the winter, this winter it's four and that's normally what it is. There's usually a couple and then another person most was five, not including me, and some winners for at least part of winners there's been no one, but usually there's two or three others. In order to get by here for so many years on my own, I've had to adjust what I need. And what's become important is my late day. I get done with work now about 3, 3.30. I come home, I do chores, I go for a ski, I make dinner, I get on the computer, I read, I knit, I watch a movie. In my late 60s, I don't know how many more years I'm going to be able to deal with this.